So it has really been quite a journey uh, <laughs> considering where we started and where we are now as far as my hair's length, thickness, definition, everything. And I have to say that my trifecta of henna and rasul clay as well as oils have made all the difference to my hair. I found all three ingredients to be equally important. I mean, here I am four years ago in an old YouTube video of mine talking about rasul clay being the best ingredient I discovered next to henna. I'll link it below if you want to laugh. <laughs> So with these recipes, you can either use straight rasul clay, which you can get from somewhere like Amazon, but I'm actually using the rasul clay cleanser that we released with Belba Organic. Uh, this contains honey, which has enzymes and nutrients that give the hair crazy shine, cloves that invigorates and nourishes the hair follicles, hibiscus, which is rich in amino acids, and bitter melon, which has biotin and zinc. You guys know that is insanely good for the hair. Ritha, which gives definition and shine. So option one is that you can make up a rinse or you can make up a mask. So I tend to put two tablespoons of um, the actual cleanser and to that I add apple cider vinegar or aloe vera juice and you can just add apple cider vinegar or aloe vera juice um, or you can also add a bit of water as well and give it a mix. Now you can apply it either as a thickness and consistency of a paste or you can apply it as a rinse. I tend to actually use it as a rinse because when Russell Clay, uh, the cleanser, is actually in a paste, it does take a bit more of an effort to actually get all of the particles out as opposed to when it's in a rinse and I find them to be both equally strengthening, but just having the slight challenge of, of trying to get all of the product out of the hair. So this tends to be the consistency that I would use and I will put that into an applicator bottle and I'll apply that from the roots all the way to the ends. But of course you can change up the consistency and as I said before, you only use it on the week or I personally only use it in the week when I'm not using the gloss so I'll alternate the weeks between using the gloss and actually using the cleanser. So another option is actually using it as a co-wash. So you can add it to a co-wash or a cheap and uh, affordable conditioner once you've already made up the actual um, paste or rinse and then apply that to the hair and use that as a cleanser. Uh, that works really, really nicely. So it's a co-wash with added benefits and um, you know nutrients as well. Again, the thickness and consistency would really, again, be up to you. I know that a lot of people who want to use a co-wash prefer it to be more of a watery texture or more of a thin texture. It really is up to you. You can adjust using aloe vera juice or water to change the thickness. Not to overstate the actual benefits, but having a cleanser that also nurtures, that also conditions, that also strengthens is an absolute game changer and I found it made a hell of a big difference to my hair. Like with all natural ingredients, you can have more than one use for this. So if you do not have both the glass and the cleanser, or you just want to alternate weeks, know that you can actually use this cleanser as a conditioner as well. Rasul clay is both conditioning and cleansing. So you can basically add to it your liquid of choice, so aloe vera juice, ACV, or water, get it to a runny consistency, and then add in your favorite deep conditioner, and you can use it as a deep conditioner that cleanses. So this would be different to a co-wash in the sense that you would actually leave it in your hair as a treatment as opposed to using it in passing. I also recommend essential oils and um, I'm gonna try and find some to, I will link below, but good essential oils also really do help to invigorate the scalp and the whole cleansing process. Of course, you guys know I've been into the sheer moisture deep conditioner.
So as I said, I usually apply this to the scalp all the way to the ends, and typically at the moment I am using it in its rinse formation, but the fun is finding out what works best for your hair. So give it a try. Let me know below what is your hands down ride or die. Have you used Rassel clay before? How do you think it compares to henna? And are you excited? Are you excited for the challenge? Don't forget, the challenge starts here on the 1st of February. If you're not already subscribed, make sure that you subscribe. I'm going to be hitting you up within the next 10 days with that budget growth regimen. And if you're interested in growing your hair on a budget, both with the natural and um, drugstore options, then make sure you are subscribed and that notification button is on. Also hit this video with a thumbs up. It really does support my channel. See you in the next video.